Okeechobee is a sleepy little town till about November and all the snow. Burn the way on! <laughs> Hey guys, RJ's Adventures. Uh, I come into town. I got uh, tires put on the front of the Ranger. And uh, there's no cheap tires no more. You either buy like junk China or you have to pay $130 a tire. I think I end up paying $119 a tire, but still, it's a lot, I think. But, anyways, town I'm in is Okeechobee. Uh, I could go to Fort Pierce. But I come to Okeechobee, and there is a Dunkin' Donuts here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's out the window right there. Uh, it's clear down here by the lake, and I'm fixing to go to the lake, but, uh, sorry about that. But, uh, they have really, really fast, free Wi-Fi. Uh, I've down, I've uploaded a couple here. I can do it off my T-Mobile. Uh, it takes a little longer. If I did, like, a really short video, which it's hard for me to do a short video because I ramble. Uh, and I can do it off my T-Mobile once in a while, but you know I gotta come into town and get stuff anyway, so might as well come into Dunkin' Don Dunkin Donuts and uh, get it uploaded. It took me about, I think it was a 13 minute video. It took me maybe 13 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. So I ordered a small cup of coffee and didn't even get a drink all the way. But uh, I'm gonna leave here and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna show you this lake. This is the north end of Lake Okeechobee. Uh, they just redid all this over here and it's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to hold the camera and drive up and over and look out my windshield at it. Uh, it's kind of windy. If I roll the window down, you might get a lot of wind noise. So my windshield's not too dirty. We'll see how it goes. We'll be right back. This is it. Uh, 441 kind of tees off down here by the lake and you can go left. And that is 98 and 441. You can go right and it's 78. One goes around the east side of the lake, other one goes around the west side of the lake. But uh, they built this. We call it levees. They call I think they call it a dike actually, but uh, around this lake because it actually got flooded like in the early 20s. But uh, so they built this uh, big old dike around this thing. Let me get down here. But there's a boat launch down here and they just when i was here last year in march i think they were still working on this i'm sorry i need a way to mount this camera but there's the pier has bathrooms in it it's actually pretty cool huh Let's see if i can walk out there but this just just used to be all sandy, dirty, nasty. Anybody that fishes knows about this lake how great it is. Got some big bass out there. I mean, some big hogs. It's a big lake too. Uh, anytime they have a hurricane, if it comes up and over this lake, that lake and that moisture in that lake's enough to to build it up just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't like change categories on them, but it definitely will uh, beef it up a little bit. But like I said, when I was here a year ago, this wasn't here. It was just they was building it. But it used to just be all a sand, dirt, nasty lot. And people would come down here and do what people do, I guess. But we'll park and uh, see if I can walk out on this pier. Maybe it's, hopefully it's not too bad. It's warm today. I think it's warm. I seen a lady come in the tire place had a hoodie on like she was frozen to death. But it's probably high 70s, low 80s suns out. But uh, you come in over here, and this is that big levee, dike, whatever you want to call it, goes all the way around the lake. There's all kinds of locks. But I've seen where I've come. To, I haven't seen it much this year. But I've seen guys come down here in their vans and like their class C's or class A's and park way over there and spend the day you can't spend the night here but they spend the day and then they'll go like up to walmart or home depot and they will uh spend the night up there or wherever they go 
But this is the pier. Here, an airboat out there. It seemed really windy back there, and all of a sudden the wind's laid down. It's meant for me to do this. But you can see every once in a while. You look out here and you see an alligator every once in a while. Hey, Dylan. They do fish off this. I have no idea. I'm assuming they're catching what they call specks. We call them crappie. This is a pretty lake. At the edge of the Everglades. If I found an alligator, you probably wouldn't be able to see it on this GoPro, I'd say. bird out there. It is pretty though. So peaceful. This is looking to the east. That's south heading down towards Clewiston. And of course the sun beating here to the west but I don't know if you can hear it but man there's an airboat out there. I can't find it. It's over there in them, that grass whatever they call that grass but man he's giving a heck. Florida water is kind of a a tea color. I mean, it looks at, I don't know if you can see that bobber down there. It's kind of clear, but it has that tea stain to it that you can still see a couple feet down. I don't know if that guy's stuck or huh, wherever he is. One big old lake, though. Okeechobee is a sleepy little town till about November and all the snowbirds come down here and invade it. You come down here in the summer and you don't wait at traffic lights or you don't wait you don't wait at traffic lights, you don't wait wait at uh, uh, restaurants, nothing like that. I mean you come down here starting about November 1st, especially after Thanksgiving. Man, this town is crazy trying to get through it. I'm glad my son doesn't live in it, lives away away from it. But it's the closest big town to come in and get stuff. So without, I guess you go to Fort Pierce, it's about 45 minutes away, I guess, 40 minutes. But I thought I'd give you guys a little look around at the big O. I'd love to see what that guy's doing out there. I don't know if you can get an airboat stuck, but it sure sounds like you. Let me uh, get off here and we'll go drive around and show you the rest of this little area right here. All right. Walking back off the pier, and there's a little four foot gator about 30 feet out, but I know you wouldn't be able to see with this GoPro. We got gators down here like we got deer at home everywhere. I did get my uh, tow bar on that uh, my son got me down here. When I went up to, uh, when I first got here and we went up to uh, get my truck, we put it on my father-in-law's lift and I think I've already told you, but I had to do a little fabricate, fabricating that it uh, worked very well. I pulled it up to uh, three lakes and back. And uh, I ain't gonna say I didn't know it was back there, but I really didn't know it was back there. <laughs> but this, that little sand, that's, that's what it used to look like. Before they built that little pier. And people just kind of come down here and hang out. And play. You'll watch them take their uh, airboats off, and they just unload them in that grass right there, and then just shoot out to the lake with them, gas them up. It's a neat lake.
boat ramp down here. One of, I'm sure, many. Down here. Uh, my son has a 14-foot boat, little boat we get out there. These big boats and them airboats, but I tell you what, though, they about run over you. You got to watch out for them, because I tell you, they won't watch out for you. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It ain't cold and snowing, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty. I have to uh, get my son one day to take me. There's this place. Uh, it's one of the locks. And if you remember on the news about, I don't know, eight, eight years ago, some kid on dare tried to swim. He, it was his senior year, and he tried to swim across this little canal and got his arm bit off or leg bit off or something. That's not far from here. Uh, actually, a kid went to uh, high school here in Okeechobee. But uh, every time you go there, you'll see just, I mean, big 10, 12-footers just hanging out on the bank. And that's the same area this kid tried to swim across. Here's the boat ramp. You still hear that guy out there. Every once in a while you could look over there and see where he was uh see where he can get this other window down. You can see where he was uh throwing rooster not rooster tails up, but where he's probably getting sideways and throwing the water around. Guy getting his pontoon in or out. But there you have it. Debago, I'll shoot up through town here in a minute and show you what the town looks like on my way out. I'm gonna try to do this. Well, how successful I will be, because I got a shift. This is the big town of Okeechobee. This is 441 going north. If I can find the spot, my son's pointed it out to me when the flood, like in 28 or something, uh, the lake flooded and it came way up into town up here. Uh, that's why they built the levee, the dike, the big hill around the lake. So I'm going to try to go through these lights and shift and show you. I do not know how successful I will be, but we'll try. 207 for gas down here. That's pretty good. Uh, I know you get up into the Carolinas and Kentuckians blow $2. And something else. I don't know, maybe... Maybe where you're from, they do this, but the dollar store down here sells beer and wine. Our dollar store definitely don't. Okay, here we go. See if we can do this. Shifted all my life. I should be able to do this. Need to buy one of them little gyro things. This is the big town of Okeechobee. Like I said, this time of year, it's pretty crazy. You come here in the summer, there's not a lot going on. This is the Walmart would be on the right, right there. Home Depot is directly behind us. Little town has just about anything you need. Uh, I don't think they have like big clothes stores or stuff like that. You have to go over to the coast, east coast. That's closer than the west coast. But anything else they got. Except cheap tires. They don't have cheap tires. Now I may be wrong, and if I am wrong, I will correct that I think the flood you gotta get into the old part of town up here because you know we're probably gosh mile from the lake mile and a half from the lake going into town but it's one of the old buildings up here if I'm not mistaken there's a line on it there's a line or a mark there's something to indicate that's how high the water was and in the great Okeechobee flood. 
but it's weird they're you know being from the north they're getting all their christmas decoration up and they're doing the the lighting of the town tonight and you know everybody's running around t-shirts and flip-flops and shorts we do the lighting of our town the day after thanksgiving and uh that friday after thanksgiving black friday and it's cold it's usually damp and cold and i think this year it was like damp cold and spitting snow now if i'm not mistaken i think it's right in here somewhere is where the where it was uh I'll find out. I think it's right in here. That Aldi's right there. That's fairly new. But it was right in here. For some reason, I think it's something to do with this building right here. Like I said, if I'm if I uh, if I'm not right on that, I will ask Josh because he's told me and showed me multiple times. So just keep going. 441. That takes you up to Yeehaw Junction. You hang a right, and it takes you to the. Uh, East Coast over by Fort Pierce and take a left on 98 and it takes you up to Sebring. I think it's there's a sign over there. I think it's like 50 miles of Sebring from here. But there you have it. Just a little town, a little sleepy town until all the snowbirds get down here and then it goes just like bat beep crazy. So I'll try to keep this in short. I, have, I struggle with that, but we're going to try to keep this in short. So you guys have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, guys.